All right, what's going on, diggers and diggers? It is definitely that time again. It is Sunday, and it's time to chill out and do some uh, gameplay over here, do some video gaming, metal detecting video games. And once again, it's a damn Sunday, and it is totally raining. It's like every time, every, every, every fucking time this last couple of weeks. Two, uh, two weeks ago, I was supposed to beat up and collecting and detecting, and it rained. And we didn't make it uh, last week, so this week we're going to try again. And guess the fuck what? Yep, downpour once again. Yeah, I'm going to have to skip out on uh, any more of those because Huntaween is coming up. Huntaween is going to start. And I, uh, but my primary goal during the month of October is that I go out metal detecting in a lot of woods, kind of like what you see here. And I look for stuff that I could actually use in my Halloween display. So it's kind of cool. I find all sorts of different stuff. If you guys want to hear the stupidest fucking shit, two years ago, I think it was like two years ago or something like that, I went to the woods, and I was, you know, you got hit finally. No, wrong button. There we go. Um, yeah, I went over to the woods, uh, and I'm looking for stuff. All I found were coins that day. Oh, speaking of coins, 1948 week, honey. Sweet. Love it. Totally love it. Awesome. We're on a good... We're starting off good today. But yeah, um... Yeah, it was, it was like really... An, it was kind of fun, but it was also annoying. It was the most coins I ever found in the forest, too. It's like I am looking for, like, old saw blades or even rusty nails or shit like that. So anything I can use in my display, I'm spending coins. God damn it, how come you guys don't do this every time? Except for October. <laughs> And this October is going to be very interesting. Uh, I'm using a backup idea. Every year for Halloween, we got uh, Chemical X and I would do Hell Sent Halloween Station. We handcraft and build our entire display basically uh, basically by hand. You're not going to find our stuff in the stores. You know, you can't just go to Spirit Halloween and buy the shit. We actually literally make it. This year we're so far behind on making anything. So, uh, Fortunately, we got a bunch of mannequins that uh, cousin gave me. We got a ton of those. This year is going to be called Religion of Torture. For those of you that are uh, Slayer fans, you know that's a line from the song Catatonic. It's something I've been sitting on for quite some time. And seeing as uh, nobody has ideas, we're going to run with that. I'm looking forward to start building, though. i got to do a lot of painting. There's one thing I want to check, hold on. Okay, uh, I do want to put you up higher, so that way when you go off, you totally go off. Alright, there we go. I'm happy. Alright, what are we going to find? So far we found a penny, that's awesome. Yeah, I was actually looking forward to going to Mott today. But, like I said, all of October I'm going to have to be doing uh, a lot of forests, a lot of woods, a lot of open fields. I'm not actually looking for points for once. So what y'all been up to? Anything good at all? I hope so. Y'all been getting out the typing? Actually, over this last week, I actually found two arrows in one day. That, that, that's like damn near almost impossible. You guys want to hear a fucked up story? I mean, it's really fucked up. The way you guys see me, basically in my videos, is the same way that I... Well, hello, good day. Glad I turned up the volume. <laughs> I'm here a mile away, plus it's a high pitch sound. As soon as we get more money, I'm getting a quarter. We got some silver. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, as soon as we get enough money, I'm definitely going to get a, a, a better detector. But so far, we're doing good. We got two coinage. Being happy. I'm never happy in real life. But all right. So. Anyhow, like I said, the way you see me in the videos is the exact same way you see me if you're walking down the street. And actually, I was just getting done to tech. I was just, I'm like, going out of coming back from detecting. I was coming back from detecting yesterday. That's why I was coming back. And because I needed a new tablecloth. So I was on my way to the do I was walking towards the dollar store and I seen a penny. And there was a guy standing in front of me. I saw a penny on the ground. Of course, I got to pick it up. I mean, come on, we dig in dirt for pennies. So I pick it up and then the guy actually turned around and got my attention. 
He doesn't speak English. Fucking surprise, surprise. But as he's like, well, I'm like, what do you want? And, I, and he like pointed to my hand and I showed him the penny and then he dumped a whole bunch of change in my hand. I'm like, hey, thanks. Uh, two things. <laughs> he turned around and walked away after I said that. I go, hey, thank you very much. Turned around and walked away. Uh, well, heads up. There we go. Right there. Now we got it. We got it. This is ours. This is totally ours. Hopefully we'll get some jewelry this time. Green. Oh, 50 cent piece. Silver. 40% silver. I love it. That's super cool. Haven't found any silver. Haven't found any half dollar gold. Maybe. That's kind of annoying. Now what you gotta do. Anyhow, uh, yes, that just goes to show you two things. One, humanity is not that bad. A lot of times I get pissed off at the world, but, uh, uh, so some guy just handed me like, like almost like two dollars and quarters of nickels and dime. Uh, the bad news is, two motherfuckers thought I was homeless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, part of me is like going, um, <clears throat> dude, I, I, um, I, I have a job and I do make a good money. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> you know, you need a wardrobe change. <laughs> <laughs> when you're walking down the street and people think you're homeless and they start, strangers start giving you money. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> Needless to say, there were some really kind of like, uh, very nice coins in there. I like some of the quarters. <laughs> They're in the collection now. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> so if y'all ever want free money, <laughs> take take a wardrobe uh, te technique from me. You know, I'll start my own ward tripwire clothing. <laughs> you too can get while I'm wearing shitty ass books. <laughs> I don't know what to do. That's it's never happened to me before. I'm like, oh, put it in my pocket. Well, what am I going to do? Say no? Come on, I, I, I'm kind of crazy, but I ain't stupid. Someone's going to hand me money. I'm taking it. All right, speaking of money, let's find ourselves a coin each year. And I can't believe that this is a, another Sunday. I got fucking rained out my stuff here. See that again? Now you guys know why you gotta go out and get your video games. You gotta go out and get, uh, awesome cyber attacking video games. I guess today's hunting really wasn't that bad at all. I was actually having fun. Can't believe I found a soccer Jawea coin. I found a soccer Jawea dollar. I was walking from the car through, uh, uh the pavement, uh, the parking lot to the hill. And I always had my detector on. As soon as I leave the car, I, I turn the detector on. I just look. Sure enough, it caught a, it, I it caught a soccer jewelry coin. So I'm like walking this way too to do it in my peep peep, and I'm like, oh, soccer jewelry, cool. Pick it up, and then I'm back over to the hill. I'm like, yeah, and that's a sign of the week, by the way. For those of you that have not seen straight up metal detectors. Yeah, I gotta start working on some Halloween shit. I already got, I already got the intro. Last year for, uh, last year on Halloween, uh, the Shwarma King, who is phenomenal when it comes to cell phones and video editing and stuff like that, he made a commercial for our Halloween, uh, setup. And he called, titled it Brian's House. And the way he put it together is just so fucking cool. I decided that's going to be the intro. Maybe from now on, that's how good it is. So. Next week, you guys will see it. It's like a one minute and one second, but he did a fun, and he did it all in my in my basement, just hanging out, watching, and eating pizza. He said he had it done like he did, like in a matter of like ten minutes. Something that would take me easily, easily six hours. And he did it all on his phone. Man, what you could do with technology nowadays. And what the fuck's up with you? We're finding sounds. What the hell happened? Uh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna try it right here. Maybe we'll get lost. Maybe we'll get lost. Doot, doot, doot. Hit the button again and go down and reach in the hole and find 
خب I got all the stuff uh, that I wanted been wanting to watch. I end up taking naps and stuff. <laughs> just like that one. I am a huge fan of like cult films, and I don't mean just like any normal uh, cult films. I'm talking about Mondo Death videos and just stuff that's so goddamn bizarre, like just mind melt. Back in the '70s, there was a movie called Shocking Asia, and it's kind of like a documentary. That's definitely a documentary, but. They just show you parts, now again in the 70s, they show you parts of uh, the area of, of that part of the world that you never knew even existed. I mean, some of the stuff that they do out there is just so bizarre. And they had two episodes, Shocking Asia 1, Shocking Asia 2. I didn't know they came out with a third one. So I'm going to start, I'm going to watch the third one sometime today. So that's fucking crazy. I'm looking forward to the third one. Problem is, is I started watching a little bit of it, and yeah, it is subtitled, but the, it, it, it's in another language. I don't know what it is. So it's, it's like you can read it in English, you can hear some English, but it, they're they're doing the closed caption and a to- talking in a totally different language. It's kind of throwing me off a bit. But yeah, I love fucking bizarre movies like that. How many of you are older than fucking dirt? Did you got uh, for those for those of you that are my age, give or take? Do you remember the cartoon Super Globe Trotters? Um, I actually watched a couple. I watched an episode of Super Globe Trotters today. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, the, the Globe Trotters are uh, uh, basketball what the hell, basketball team that does a lot of trick shots and they're comedians and stuff. Well, they, Back in the 70s, they were so big, they got their own their own cartoon. And they're all superheroes. <laughs> all right, come on. Um, I, I, I just want some noise, dude. And listen to you. You, yes, you, you start making some noise so I can start digging shit. Yeah, another one. I know. I know you guys hear me talk about this one. This one thing on, on uh, YouTube. I like to watch Joel Bark Skeletor. He's doing a simulation video game. Um, it's a physics video game, and it, it, the, what he does is just fucking hilarious. Like tries to blow people up in it, and, and it's, I can't describe what he does in this game, but it's just funny as hell. He doesn't take it that seriously. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Another machine is on. I know how last week I said uh, I couldn't hear the metal detector. Actually, I tested it on the beach before I started today. Oh, hello, tree. That's nice to see you there. As soon as I get enough money, I'm definitely getting a new detector. We were doing so well. Ooh, tree. I'll go over here. I'll go this way. I know, it's another one, so you get a hit around tree, there's no roots. I know how to get coins. It never fails. I am like glowing again. 
I am the new prophet. You must follow me to the promised land. I need a Pepsi. I'm nowhere near a Pepsi right now. Actually, lately I've been drinking a lot of off-brands, and I had to return bottles yesterday. And I had like $10 in bottles, and they had uh, four 12-packs for $9. I'm like, well, I knew it. Okay, now here's a hot thing. Oh, we did good. Sad. All right, uh, no, I want, no, 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 fuck you. No, wrong button, wrong button. No, 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 no. Stop it. Try now. Thank you. <laughs> Momentary lapse of insanity. E. Nail. I found the nail. I'm still holding that out, guys. If you guys want to hear why I say that, if you guys want to know, let me know and I'll tell you stories. I found the nail. Just leave a comment saying, just type nail. Type nail in the comments and next week I'll tell you the nail story. I love the nail story so much I actually use it in my intro. It's been a running joke with me and chemical expert. Guys, since I started metal detecting basically. See, see it is, see it is on top, right on the rusty nail, that's what I need. I will use those too, I do. I actually use them. I use a lot of, actually if you've ever seen my Halloween costume that I wear, um, it's like I'm totally decked out in black metal armor and it's all nails. I am like, like a walking human thing cushion. See, I don't know what the hell's going on around our neighborhood, but they we used to love doing trunk or treat. Ooh, we only got three minutes left. I used to love doing trunk or treat and they stopped doing it. But uh, they they did they weren't big because we always did it at a church or churches like one or two different churches. And they didn't like it. I mean, when we roll in, we we don't fuck around when it comes to Halloween. We got the most horrific uh, displays. And when we pulled up and we started getting our shit out and started setting it up and everything, people are just like, "What the fuck is wrong with these guys?" But then I always I'm the very last thing I do is I uh, put on my uh, black metal armor. And people are just like, Jesus, that's fucking crazy. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's why I do it. I do. To give you some sort of idea, look it up. Uh, go to your Yahoo page. Type in Carrie King and Slayer. And he has like a, a... Hit the images. He usually has like these gigantic nails across one of his arms. Mine isn't that intense. But I'm just like all over. Mine more is like deicides. Uh, when deicide used to be called Amon. Uh, Glenn Benton would go out there, the bass player singer. My, my black metal armor looks a lot more identical than his. Except my chest plate, my chest plate is totally different. Are you talking against sighted and it's not even October yet? Oh, we're getting there. I'm bringing back waterboarding. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to get into fucking trouble this year. I am, I'm but I... It's called Religion of Torture, and um, yeah, I'm going to um, do a waterboarding. That might be the center of this place, the waterboarding. I did a surface, uh, we only have one minute left. Somebody that watches Straight Up Metal Detecting yesterday, they uh, saw that I found a, an arts and crafts uh, build a birdhouse. I don't know, I just grabbed it put it in the pocket and they said why don't you build the birdhouse paint it and put a zombie bird in there you know <laughs> that's kind of fucking cool I'm, I'm going to do that this year just for fun I'll have that I'll have that somewhere that's a cool idea let me tell you how much I love Halloween I actually take a week off from work just to work on my display alright well, you know what I, I, we got like uh, 20 seconds here fuck me um, at least we've got some stuff we're not getting massive amounts of shit, but we've got some shit to get. So, happy about that. Happy about that. Tree. I'm gonna be scrappy digs and go piss on every single tree in this forest. <laughs> well, alien. All right, that's it. I'm calling it. Um, let's see. We're gonna go like uh, this. 
So we're going to quit. All right, let's see how much we found. I have some Chinese to eat, too. I'm we'll to do that while I'm going to this shit to upload. All right, uh, signs. You guys ready to make some money? I am. Let's see what we got here. This is what I found on the beach to make sure that works. Yeah, 46 cents. Take that. We have a hook. I found the nail. All right, uh, let's see. Boom. Five bucks. Uh, dude, I don't think so. <laughs> I have a lot of heat. 15 cents, yeah. Five bucks, no. Uh, 42. That is kind of about right, I think. I think 5.51 for a silver nickel. I think that's roughly around the right ballpark. Maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. 12.70. Um, no. But <laughs> thank you for giving me the race. Cool. All right, I thank you all very much for watching. This is Cyber Detecting. I am Tripwire. Every Sunday to wind down the fucking hectic week, come over here and we bitch, yell, and moan, scream, and we find metal detecting stuff. All right, y'all need to do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and keep the hunt alive. We will see you next Sunday for some more cyber detecting. Y'all take care. Later.